This is a demonstration of a PAC-1 overheat in flight. You are the pilot non-flying. You are currently flying at your cruise flight level. Everything is normal. Let's look at the fault indications, a fault message and associated checklist on the engine warning display. The ECAM bleed page has been automatically called to show amber indications. A fault light has illuminated on the air conditioning control panel. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. Before you begin, notice that the pack flow control valve has closed. This occurred automatically when the overheat was detected to protect the pack from damage. The valve color indication is amber because the valve position disagrees with the switch position. The compressor outlet temperature is also amber because the temperature limit has been exceeded. Notice also that since the pack valve has closed, the supply line from the pack to the mixer unit has turned amber. This happens because there is no airflow from the pack to the mixing unit. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM actions. You, as a pilot non-flying, read and perform ECAM actions. The first step on ECAM directs you to turn off pack 1. This is to match pack switch and pack valve position and prepare to reset the pack. Note that the fault light on the pack push button switch is illuminated to help you locate it and to indicate the overheat condition. Switch off pack 1. When pack 1 is turned off, an off light illuminates in the switch and the pack valve indications turns green showing valve switch agreement. Notice that the fault light is still on. The completed procedural step disappears from the engine warning display. Let's move on to the next step of the procedure which has two parts. In this module, we will review how to engage and disconnect the autopilots, autopilots on, off, as well as the flight directors, flight directors on, off. You are the captain and PF. We are just airborne, above 100 feet from the ground. To reduce the pilot workload, and enhance aircraft safety, let's engage one autopilot. Engage AP-1. The FMA confirms the engagement of AP-1. As a general rule, when the captain is PF, AP-1 is used. When the first officer is PF, AP-2 is used. This ensures that each AP will be alternatively operated. The APs can be used just after liftoff, 5 seconds, from say 100 feet until the end of the landing rollout. In most cases, only one AP can be turned on at a time. <laughs> 